Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my video. So today we're talking about unlocking elite PvP gear. And that includes everything from the elite appearance for your character, the elite PvP enchant, the cloak, and of course the tabard. And if you guys don't know, uh, already on Tuesday, Blizzard accidentally unlocked the uh, elite appearance for uh, many players uh, based on their rating from the pre-patch. And so that's why right now you see a lot of players wearing the Elite set. And uh, as you can see here, um, this is my Warrior. And uh, during preseason or BFA pre-patch, I pretty much went over 2200 rating. And so uh, on Tuesday, during the reset, I basically got all of these achievements, guys. All the achievements and then also the Elite appearance. And as you can see, it's not a bad looking set. If you are a plate wearer, like you know uh, death knight or a paladin and of course a warrior uh, this is pretty much what the elite set looks like on the alliance side so now the question is how do you get the elite appearance in battle for azrath and that's actually a really good question guys and earlier today i stumbled upon a twitter post from a blizzard developer that pretty much shows us how the new system is going to work and it's actually really interesting guys and I do like it a lot so as you can see here once you hit 1400 rating you're gonna unlock like the bracers and the belt 1600 rating you'll get like the gloves legs boots 1800 rating helm shoulders chest 2100 rating you'll get the cloak and then of course the elite weapon enchant and then finally at 2400 you're gonna get the tabard and the gladiator mount so it's a really really different system from legion because i know in legion all you needed to do was get like 2k rating and then you would walk up to a vendor and basically just buy the elite set with honor tokens but now with this system it's more of progression and i really really like that guys so let's talk about the elite pvp and channel real quick guys this is what i know so far um it's not in the game yet and the vendor is also not in the game. So if I were to hit 2100 today, uh, I wouldn't be able to purchase it because Blizzard hasn't created it yet. Um, so I'm also hearing that Blizzard might reuse old elite PvP enchants. For example, in Mob you had like uh, Glorious Tyranny, which was red. In Wad you had Primal Tyranny, which was like a bluish color. And of course in Legion, you had the uh, green enchant. Um, but the rumor is that the enchant this season is going to be like a goldish type, maybe like a bright yellow color. And that actually makes more sense than Blizzard reusing like old elite PvP enchants. Because as you know, when it comes to elite PvP gear and, and tabards and stuff like that, Blizzard doesn't uh, like to put them back in the game for some reason. So you can't go back you know, and buy them. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. It's going to be a new uh, PvP enchant. It's probably going to be like a brightish yellow, maybe like a brightish uh, gold uh, type color. Alright guys, and lastly, let's take a look at the PvP tabards for uh, this season. So as you can see here, this is the Alliance one, and then you got the Horde one, and uh, I think they look okay. Uh, now the interesting thing is that you actually need 2400 rating in order to get these tabards. In Legion, you only needed 2200 rating to get your PvP tabard so it's gonna be a little bit harder to get the tabards uh, this expansion alright guys well that's gonna do it for today's video hope you enjoyed it hope you found it informative and if you did make sure you like subscribe share I definitely will appreciate it also um, if you have any questions whatsoever about today's video make sure you leave them in the comments below and I'll check them out and uh, until next time I'll talk to you guys later